Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Niagara Purple Eagles and the Syracuse Orange. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I think it's a major mismatch. You're talking about David versus Goliath. I mean, they got to go out and play with no fear. They can't be worried. The Orange are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second of all, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Lastly, don't get lazy, man. Attack the basket, grab the glass, get after the boards. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Both teams looking to get things going here. Now trying to feed the low block. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He pushes it hard up the court for the bucket. Arnold was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Down inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. For two, perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. Hugh handles the feed. And the ball goes out of bounds. Schmidt is emotionally fired up. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Gage receives the ball. They work the perimeter. He's open if he wants the shot. Ten on the shot clock. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Gave it up. There's a high screen. Way off target. Campbell receives the pass. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Campbell handles the pass. He looks for three. Makes it. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. There they come with a double team to stop it. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Just about ready for play to resume. Shot 
Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Almost lost a basketball. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Up and inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Look at that spacing. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Banks pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that ball. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Orange go to the line for the first time in this game. He misses it. He can't get one to fall on the dribble gives it up. They go into the low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Dick not a bad drop step but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket not quick enough and a great reaction by the defensive post player. the low block he's going nowhere going ball nowhere. stolen it's going the other way that's where it's going turnover city baby gotta eliminate those turnovers puts up the shot he shows the sweet touch both teams are looking to get something going here looking for a good shot with the block they just keep shutting the door. Whistle blown. Basket's good and one. That's concentration, baby. The Purple Eagles are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He hits it. In the paint. Here's a double team. Basket falls despite the contact. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The carrier dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. There's the trap. Robs him of the ball. They'll work it around the arc. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? We're going to move it around the perimeter. Stolen away. What a great strip. And the fans love it, man. They love it. Our house, baby. Our house. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up. He pulls the trigger. He gets the bucket to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. And the ball goes out of play. He's been making some great plays, but taunting, 
This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. They work the perimeter. Steel. Defense got it after knocking it loose. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Perfectly executed. That's worth another look. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got to score for us here. Well, guys, it's early out there, but both coaches are demanding both teams turn up their emotions and get physical out there on the hardwood. Thanks, Erin. On the dribble, gives it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Oh, yes. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play, you got a chance to really to win. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Working around the perimeter for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? He shoots from the top of the circle, way off target. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Need to make that. Boards it. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. If the walls in their changing room could talk, so to speak, I'm sure there'd be some great stories that go along with this historic basketball program, Dick. Hey, when the school has a great history, Brad, it almost brings instant credibility to the table. Players want to play there. Coaches want to coach there. A bit of a snowball effect. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. There's the fake. Got a man in high post. That one, there should have been a foul called, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. That's a 10 zip run. I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. The whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Ten on the shot clock. He puts up the three ball. He drains the shot. That's basic. Jump 
trapped in front to take it away. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Clock shot usually creates momentum and opportunities. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see raw man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Tries for two. Perfectly executed. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Great play to take that to the basket. And a momentary look from three-point land. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. For the bucket, the land. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Sinks it. Goes up for two. The ball goes out of bounds. it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. For two, he drains the bucket. The replay reveals the deal, baby. out of play. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. No matter how you describe it, a stop here will excite all of the fans. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Got it.
Dig, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Knocks it down. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. And he missed. Looking for a good shot. He uses the shot fake. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Stolen. They push it up on the break. For two, he gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. He dials long distance. The defensive rebound coming the other way. They need to get out and run their lanes now. They're working around the perimeter. From beyond the arc, gets it to fall. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Stolen away. Tries for two, and he scores despite the hack. Gave it up for the bucket. Doesn't go. Now, back it out. Now they reset the play. He takes the shot off the baseline. Looking for the foul. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to drop. On the outside. Picks off the pass. For that reason right there. That's why I love college basketball. My goodness. It's chaotic in here. Rips the ball. Here they go into transition. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. He blocks the shot. Looking for a good shot. From three-point range. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Intercepted. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Shots there if he wants it. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. You betcha. That's incredible. Thinks about the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Shot clock is dead. Steals a pass. Pushes it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. turnover from next to nowhere great job of freeing himself with the screen but shot won't go at the end of the first half the purple eagles are trailing by 10 
displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Now, nah, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. This with the ball is never a good thing. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. A strip of it in basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Tries for two and off the mark. Going to move it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. I love it when teams help one another. It's not a one-man game defensively. You got to help your teammate out. You got to rotate over. Erickson pump fakes. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Ball goes out of play. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. Good job defensively. The orange of a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. And he missed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, doesn't go. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Tickles the twine. That's Matador defense. Nobody coming over, nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on a playground. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking for a good shot. Puts it up, looking for contact. It sticks. The brush is getting to him, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Got an open look if he wants it. He fires from long range. Buried it. Wide open for the shot. Tries a three. Makes it. Sometimes you got to take that whipping, Brad. Well, the D certainly is tonight. Gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Off the rim and no good. I'm stepping it, man. Take a look right here. 
little Marishka go up in shorts, little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. The Orange have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. There's the trap. He lets it go. Goes. Hey, don't let these guys get in too much of a rhythm. Can they regroup in time, you think? Let's see what happens. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And the ball goes out of play. On the outside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. How do you slow these guys up? They've got to start hitting some shots on their own. For the bucket, perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Play that back for me one time. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Receives the ball. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Great shot block right there. Yeah, had some good movement on the offensive side. They're working around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Well, wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Takes it off him. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. The Orange are ahead by 16. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Takes the shot. The Purple Eagles have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Braddy's on fire. Picks off the lazy pass. They'll work it around the arc. Unloads a three. He buries the shot.
He intercepts it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He strips him clean. They get it out into transition. For two, it's good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. You're going to be seeing this one all week. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Launches the bomb. He buries it. Picks off the pass. Got to control yourself. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Goes to the line for the first time. Free throw is good. And he got them both. That's a 9-0 run. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, somebody forgot to tell these two teams there was such a huge mismatch coming in. The favorites look like they've met their match defensively so far. But, Brad, as we know, it's early so far. All right, thanks, Aaron. Working it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from long range. Back it out, play intelligently. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. the dribble gives it up he didn't have the good angle they should have got it to him about a second earlier one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Gave it up. 
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. And that one's blocked. Hard foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Up and inside. Throws it up. The ball goes out of play. He shoots from the top of the key. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. With a bucket, and in and out. He grabs the rebound. Turnaround jumper, way off target. For two, they're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. He shoots from left of the circle. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Dumps it in. Jumped in front to take it away. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Intercepted. He rejects it. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Well, Mr. Vital, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that can become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounded. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Great defense. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped on it. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains the long-range bomb. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job. He makes the block. Here's a double team. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Set that screen away. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Franklin handles the pass. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Kick it back outside. Pump fakes. The point guard with the ball. 
Try to come up with a steal, and they do. The point guard gets the pass. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He puts it in with contact and all. On the outside. The small forward gets the ball. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Double team now, bad angle. He takes the shot from the baseline. He gets that one to fall. He takes the three. Campbell is carrying his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow's pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Pushes it. The shooting guard takes the pass. Niagara are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. High post screen. The shooting guard takes the feed. He attempts the three. He gets the bucket. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. In the paint. Drains the shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. On the dribble, gives it up. Pressure that basketball. Steals the ball. Up and inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Taken away. They get out on the break. The ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital delay. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Working around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Look at that spacing. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They've left him completely alone. Well, it's time to start fouling. They gotta stop the clock, Dick. Come in, come in. 
And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Gage steps to the line for the first time. Nothing but rim. A bucket here is crucial. back to the action we've got ourselves a dandy here folks the lead has been trimmed to four he shoots from the top of the circle the more possessions you create the better your chances and the clock stopped with a foul Brad I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game they should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter he'll go to the line Makes the front end of the one and one. Gets the second shot. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. We get ready to bounce back into action here. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. <laughs> Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Sinks it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. to hit the floor. Takes the shot. Tickles the twine. Foul, and that stops the clock again. with the freebie. First one is no good. Buries it. T.O. called. Hey, we got a barn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Try and surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. He tries to beat the clock. Rims out. 
Dick, they got to find a way to regroup. We didn't expect this to happen tonight, and this has shocked me, and I think it shocked their fans and probably their coaching staff. Well, I think what happened, Brad, they really weren't focused, and right now is a bit of the reality. I think they start getting a little cocky, maybe reading their press clippings, and now maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better come to play, and we better be ready, and I think that starts with practice. Syracuse find themselves on the losing end of a good game. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.